Quantum atom theory is an artist's theory on the physics of time as a physical process. In this theory, the continuous flow of light or electromagnetic radiation forms what we see and feel as the flow of time. When there is an absorption and emission of light, we have a probability wave function that forms the uncertainty of Heisenberg's uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics. In this theory, the physics of quantum mechanics represents the physics of time itself. Therefore, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle is the same uncertainty we have with any future event, and the probability wave function represents a physical process that forms the flow of time that we can interact with, turning the possible into the actual. Only by extending Einstein's theory of relativity into our everyday life, giving time the geometry and curvature of space-time as a dynamic interactive process, will this make sense. In Einstein's theory of relativity, time is a variable. The greater the energy or mass, the slower time runs, and the greater the curvature of space-time within an individual reference frame. The movement of energy and mass distorts space-time. As energy and mass moves around, the curvature of space-time moves relative to that movement. In quantum atom theory, this is a universal interactive process, and even the smallest life form will slow the rate that time flows relative to its own energy, therefore forming its own curvature of space-time, its own future uncertainty or possibilities, forming its own individual evolutionary path, its own destiny. To understand this, we have to first understand how what we see and feel as the flow of time unfolds. This is a continuous dynamic process in three-dimensional space. Light in the form of a probability wave function will expand out from its radius, forming a sphere in three-dimensional space. It is a probability wave of a potential future event, and when it comes in contact with something, it will form a new photon oscillation in space and a new moment in time. This will form a new probability wave function relative to its new position, forming the continuum of time. The surface area of the sphere forms a two-dimensional boundary condition that we see and feel as the two dynamic dimensions of a past and a future with a continuous potential uncertainty formed by the expanding electromagnetic wave front forming the flow of time. This forms a, the continuous flow of electric charge and electrical potential within the movement of electromagnetic fields. The electric fields will always be at right angles to the magnetic fields forming a local space-time geometry. This gives us a visual picture of a process expanding in all directions forming the three-dimensional space of our everyday life within an expanding universe. But at each new absorption and emission of light there will be matter-antimatter annihilation in just one direction forming the arrow of time within each individual reference frame. Consciousness, the continuous flow of ideas formed by electroactivity within the brain is the most advanced part of this universal process of continuous energy exchange and therefore we can understand it as the flow of time with a past and a future potential. The whole process can be seen as a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. It is this spherical shape that forms the low entropy for the ever increasing degrees of freedom for the continuous increase of entropy. We have a dynamic universe of continuous change, continuous creation, forming the uni uniqueness of every moment, the individuality of every life form. 